What's going on guys? So you are looking at a 2019 Ram 1500 Rebel half-ton pickup truck. This is a really, really cool truck. And what Ram's done that's really nice is they've given it a really good styling package from the outside, which makes it unmistakably a Rebel pickup truck. Let's take a look at this truck and see what we like about it. Well, one of the first things there's no way of missing is the front end aggressive look that you get on the Rebel. Has a really, really cool matted black finish to the front. It definitely has an aggressive look to it and an aggressive stance, as well as the gills up front on the hood that also give it a really nice aggressive appearance. Very much that Raptor look, but with the Ram flair to it. Very nice. Plus you have parking sensors on the front. The second big giveaway that this is a Rebel is the fact that you're gonna get these really aggressive Goodyear Wrangler tires. And you will be surprised at how quiet these tires are on normal highway driving. Typically when you go to an off-road style tire, you're gonna hear some of the noise that that tire tread definitely translates to when it drives over the road. With this specific truck, the tires actually are incredibly quiet. The interior of this truck is incredibly pleasant to be in. And overall, the interior of this truck is just a really great place to be, which we'll go over shortly. Not sure if you noticed it, but this specific truck was spec'd with a tow package, which gives you the flip-up tow mirrors. Now, a lot of people know that I'm not a big fan of these mirrors in their down position. However, once you flip the mirror up, I think it's a very functional mirror. And to have it as part of the tow package on a half-ton truck, I think is an excellent idea, and I'm very glad to see it on this specific truck. Something else I like about this truck is the fact that it has the running boards on it. Now you guys know I recently had done a review on a 2019 Laramie model of the half-ton truck and it did not have any running boards on the side of it, which to me didn't make a lot of sense. You open the door, it was kind of a steep step to get into the truck. Running boards definitely help. And I kind of prefer this style of running board over the kinds that are more integrated into the truck. It's a more youthful running board in my opinion and it works really well. It would have been nice to see them in black though, simply to match some of the matte black finish of the Rebel package. Now even though this specific truck doesn't have the remote tailgate release, it does have an electric tailgate release button, which is under here, and when you press it, it also has slow opening feature. So it does have a slow opening tailgate, which is nice. As you can see, this specific model came with the spray and bed liner already installed. Something that is also nice about this truck is, even though it doesn't have the factory LED bed lights installed, it has the cutouts for them already. So if you were gonna install them aftermarket, you'd have the ability to do it relatively easy without having to cut new holes. You essentially just have to buy the lighting kit from Chrysler or online or wherever you plan on buying it, and then put it in the vehicle. And closing the tailgate's really nice because it's incredibly light, mainly because they put a torsion bar into the bottom portion of the tailgate, which assists in closing the tailgate whenever you need to. And this specific truck is equipped with their LED lighting package. It gives you the LED headlight, LED high beam and low beam, with LED accent lights on the front and bottom, and LED fog lights. Pretty much all LED lighting on this truck. Looks really good. And again, that continues on to the back of the truck with all LED lighting as well from your reverse lights to your turn signals and your accent light or your parking light. This is your parking strip, which you see goes around. One thing I really like about the execution with Ram is that they made this light thicker at the top and bottom of the back because when you're looking at it from the back, it gives you more light visibility. If you look at the F-150 and some models that have the LED light package, you'll notice it only has a really thin strip of light at the top and bottom, and it can make it really difficult to see at night if you're behind the vehicle. And honestly, I'm not quite sure how Ford got away with putting that little amount of light on the back of the vehicle. Now, when the brake lights come on or the turn signal comes on, it's incredibly bright. But if you're just cruising behind it, I really, really can appreciate how Ram expanded that area and definitely makes it more visible at night. Now something I think that Ram has done better than both Ford and General Motors is the integration of the straight tip exhaust into the bumper. I know how GM is doing it with the rectangular shape on the Trail Boss package, but I can honestly tell you I like this more traditional round. I like how they make a little bevel at the bottom of the bumper right above the tailpipes. I think Ram has nailed it with the overall look of their dual exhaust system on their pickup trucks. And keep in mind, when you see dual exhaust on these newer trucks, it's not necessarily a true dual exhaust system. It's generally going to be a cat-back system that splits off from the headers and then combines into one exhaust pipe going all the way back. And you can see that right here and where it connects back right there. This truck does have an AAM rear axle, utilizes coil sprung rear suspension, and it has a sway bar on the back as well, or a stabilizer bar. 
Continuing with the fully boxed frame with through welded cross members. And a through welded cross member simply means that this cross member right here goes all the way through the boxed frame section and out the other side. Because you have two side walls of the frame section that actually take the load versus just this single side wall. It would have been nice to see them include a Goodyear Wrangler as a spare as well. But instead it has Falcon Wild Peak AT tires as the spare. And you can see all the extra skid protection that you get because this is a Rebel package. And it is steel skid protection, so that's a steel skid plate right there versus traditionally where you might see plastic on some vehicles. This Ram Rebel is equipped with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. It includes a multi-displacement system or MDS with fuel saver technology. This one also has the e-torque system. This engine produces 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. And you can see the e-torque system right here. That's this assembly on the front left corner of the engine. So because this truck is equipped with the 392 rear axle ratio, this truck has a total towing capacity of 11,330 pounds. Let's take a look at the payload numbers on this truck. This truck has a 1,416 pound payload capacity. So when you look at the towing capacity and you look at the payload capacity of this truck, well obviously if you put a big trailer weighing 11,300 pounds behind this truck, you're going to have about 1,100 pounds of tongue weight that rests on the back of this truck, which means you would really only have about 300 pounds worth of payload capacity for everything else you throw in the vehicle. In my opinion, again, I wouldn't tow a travel trailer that's over 6,000 pounds or beyond 27 feet behind this truck. If it's a flat utility trailer, if it's going to be something that's going to have a lower profile like a boat, you could go higher than that depending on how it's being loaded up, but that's definitely my recommendation for this truck. Guys, once again, I want to give Lithia Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram here in Corpus Christi, Texas a huge shout out for letting me take this truck out, spend time with it, and give you my overall opinion. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.